Jeff Whisker. Welcome back. I'm Jeff. This is Whiskey. Let's crack on. I'm almost on the pulse and I'm getting to something quite quickly after it's been announced. And with design being my bag, I thought let's quickly chop something together and give my thoughts and breakdown on the new Glasgow Distillery Co branding. Now, I'm not sure if people care about branding as much as I do. Probably not. I am quite sad. But yeah, I thought it was an interesting topic. Dive on. I'm sure it'll probably take a few weeks to even edit it because I'm the slowest man in whiskey tube. But enough whiff waff. Let's talk about the new logo. So Glasgow Distillery launched in 2012, I want to say. And they had this steel design with like ripples coming out of it. In honesty, I wasn't a great fan and I'm pretty sure in their corks they've got like a version with a flame at the bottom, I think. So they seem to have moved away from that. They did recently have a big change where they went from 50 CL bottles to 70 CL, which is a great change. Because from what I've tried, it's a real solid whiskey. And who doesn't want more of a good thing? Either way, let's dive into the new branding. First thing I see is the G unit logo. I'm not sure if that's just me and my early 2000s wrap up bringing, but it really does strike me as that. And then it's also a bit Google-esque, which, which you're gonna find with a capital G as the icon. Now for any designer's dream, they've provided a breakdown of why they've done things, the reasons behind it, you know, the whole story behind the new branding. And as a designer myself, often most of these things are intentional, but you do get happy accidents when you think, oh, that looks like this. Oh, that ties in brilliantly. Not saying that's the case with this, but who knows? The only other thing I notice is it doesn't look quite circle. Let's just quickly draw a circle around there. I think the outside circle is fully circular, but I think there's a divot. At the bottom of the G looks a bit, there's a larger gap. I imagine that's to create a hard line, maybe vertically between them. But yeah, I think at the top as well, it squishes in. And I imagine that's to create visually as equal gap as possible. Lots of design is balancing optical illusions. So often with type, you've got to overshoot certain letters. So if a letter is curved, you then tend to make it slightly taller than block letters. So often an O would be slightly taller than an L because visually it looks in line, even though it's slightly above. Now, I don't know if it was Glasgow Distillery or if it was the branding team behind it. I don't know if they've got an outside branding team, an internal branding team. And I wonder who came up with the stories with spirit tagline. But that does tie in with this cool little speech mark. I would say the outer O as a barrel is a bit of a stretch. It's a vague point, but it works. You know, it's all filler for the branding. The type they've used, they've incorporated the G. I would have liked to seen kind of more blocky elements or cut off elements on the rest of the font just to kind of tie it in a bit more. But I think it works really well. I like the off alignment positioning where the the is tied with the G, middle of the G. And I'm sure I'll do deep dives and other rebrandings. But the reason I think behind this is because it can work better in other formats. It can scale down, it can be used as social media icons, it could be used for animation, it could be used for little like merchandise. I would say you can't read the text inside the G circle. I personally would have put it either above or below or both, but they're creating some really slick animations with this, which really helps sell the brand. And it just gives it more of a unique identity for the modern look they're going for. I think it does really work. I think if I ever do any more branding things, I'm just gonna divide it between slap or crap like I've done in another video. And this certainly in my view slaps. Glasgow Distillery before didn't have a huge brand identity in my view. And this does keep everything a lot more uniform and more unique. And it does reflect the modern distillery kind of aesthetic they've got with their bottles and other marketing. But yeah, these animations are really cool. Of course, I like the play on words with stories with spirit, you know, booze. But overall, in my view, it's a solid rebranding. The more I look at the old branding, I did like the almost thumbprint look you can see coming off the steel. However, type choices they've used for like the font on Glasgow and the fact they've got the little underline on Co. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that. I can see the new logo is utilizing the little full stop you see on so many new brands. And in my view, tends to work best when it's reflecting a website, because obviously .com, .co.uk, all that jazz. Maybe while I like the alignment with the tied into the middle of the G at the top of the speech mark, I do wonder if it would work better slightly higher and it would mean you can have it better in a block format because all logos ideally need to fit in either a rectangle or a square shape. That's so they could be used on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
YouTube is so they can all be condensed into these certain preset parameters. God, I almost sound like I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, all in all, I like the new branding. I'm currently eyeing up a bottle of theirs. I'm sure it'll probably have the old branding and I can't see anywhere on the site when they're planning on rolling out the new branding across their bottlings. But the new rebrand for Glasgow Distillery Co. Slaps. All in all, I'm Jeff. That was Whiskey. Cheers to the next one.